This afternoon, we welcome you to Harrisonburg, Virginia, the home of the Dukes of James Madison. A sunny but chilly November 22nd. Perfect college football weather at this time of the year as the Phoenix of Elon roll into town. Losing Cheatham has been a big blow to them, but you wouldn't know it given their point production. Hanging 55 last week at Richmond. Lee. Boy, plenty of time. He's going to take off again. This is what Rich Skrotsky, the head coach, was concerned about. Cuts it back inside the 20, 10, and inside the five-yard line before he's finally run out of bounds. And Gresh uh, Skrotsky was saying during the uh, telephone con call this uh, week, he said, you know, he's got like 900 yards, but most of them are on scrambles. Well, and you can see pressure up the middle from Jonathan Spain, 52. Good job by the offensive line to take care of it. Watch him bounce outside. And then the wide receiver helps them out as they go quick and score a touchdown. Adula picks up his second touchdown. That last run by Bad Lee set it up with the 28-yard gain. And just like that, they move from the 18 all the way down for the first score. And now a check from James Madison defensively. Quinn looking right, throws right, and this one is... Is it going to be picked off? It looked like uh, Taylor Reynolds uh, pulled it away, and it's going to be intercepted. Taylor Reynolds had two pick sixes last week. David Petroni, sophomore from Buford, Georgia, will kick this one just inside his 30-yard line. Rashard Davis uh, standing at his 20, and this one's blocked. Another block kick. Both teams are coming in with six blocks. That's number seven for JMU. And let's get that changed. <laughs> all right, You're we'll all him, over it. We'll get him on the phone. Quinn goes back to work and over the middle. And this one's going to be picked off. Inside the 45-yard line, all the way down inside the 20. And that's the uh, second to INT now. And this time it's Dean Marlowe for Elon. And right now they trail by 17 as we open up the second quarter. Lee's going to run the option. And uh, something he ran at Georgia Tech, and it goes awry. And Elon gets their first break defensively. Odell Benton, the senior from Jacksonville, gets the 16th to takeaway for Elon. And they start from the 30-yard line. They try some razzle-dazzle going back to the quarterback. Quinn will walk in for the touchdown for the Phoenix. I mean, you look at Ravenel at 16 and a half yards, uh, Smith at 16 yards, 15-7 if you want to get technical. But... Uh, Yards after the catch, very impressive. And this young man right now gets in the end zone for his second touchdown. That's going to be number six in 2014 uh, for the fifth-year senior. And the Dukes are on the move. Empty backfield now on third down for Lee. Lee looks, fires, completes it inside the 10-yard line. Latney already with a, a couple of touchdown runs. Looks like Latney's going to get the call again. And Latney almost coughed up the football Whoa. on a high snap. And uh, did he move the pile? Did he get in for the touchdown? He yeah. did. There's a touchdown. His third. Nice effort by Latney because the high snap, I thought they were going to give up the football on a fumble. For the game, it may lead to some mistakes. But in closer games, I think JMU would slow the pace. Lee looking for his first touchdown pass, and he has it. Goes to the running back, Abdullah. Daniel Brown's blocking for everybody out there at 6-5. Wow, bad Lee. Zone read. Gets to the pylon. There's a touchdown. Bad Lee faked everybody out on that play. So you better have four corners who can cover. First down for Quinn. Down over the middle. This one's going to be picked off. In the end zone, third INT thrown by Quinn. And again, it's number 16. It's going to be Marlowe with his second INT. Inside a yard to go. Coppich. No, it's going to be Quinn. Good fake. Quinn gets in for the touchdown. That's his second touchdown today to make it 45-13. Turned around, gave him a little dap. Said, way to be tough. <laughs> Speaking of tough, it was good to see Spain back on the field. He was dinged up. Here's the long run. And this one could... I said could go to the house, finally uh, run out of bounds. Finally, Chris Blair, the former safety playing cornerback, came from the far side. Matt Cunningham there at left tackle, number 60. He's technically listed on the two deeps as a backup. 
veteran-laden offensive line that bodes well come playoff time. Look at the time Lee has, huh? And he has another touchdown. Wow. This one's pulled in by DeAndre Smith, his seventh. JMU right now is an offensive machine. Third down, third and 11. Quinn's going down again. This time breaking through is Sage Harold. So whichever way that play fake goes, watch that backside DN. It tells you exactly what you need to know. Third down. Lee over the middle. Another touchdown. Dukes were seven for seven in the red zone. And now Lee's on fire. You know that William and Mary game I alluded to earlier in the broadcast. Easy call for our CAA crew. So the ball at the 21 yard line go for broke and Allison has it for the touchdown. There's the hat trick for Quinn. He got it. A run, a catch and a throw for a touchdown. Good for Mike Quinn. Dad Lee's had a great year, Mike. To your point, there's no question, but. Here's an Elon pick. And uh, Snavely again, uh, we've uh, called his name in number uh, twice down the last two series. So Snavely comes up with a big tackle and now his first INT is sitting at the nine yard line down 59-21. Find your mind man to man isolation, throw it up on the outside. Bottom of the screen, I think he's going. Nope, they run a screen. Inside screen, it's gonna go for the touchdown. Davis uh, gets in and it's gonna be the final play of the football game, but uh, I don't know if respectable is the right word, but a good fight for Elon, and the final score is going to be 59 to 28 if they convert. That was 45 to 7 at halftime of 59 27. And Everett Withers rides that seven game winning streak into the postseason.